Resuming from Shrinam Vyakranam, Karaka Prakranam, Sutra 634. Yogapad Vajane, Purushanam Paraha, Vajanam to Samudaya Sankhya Bhikshyam. When the Ukta Karakas are in different Purushas, the Purusha which is uh, Purusha is Uttam Madhyam or Uttam Purush, Madhima Purush, or Pratima Purush. So, if the Ukta Karakas are in different Purushas, the Purusha which is later in the order of Pratima, Madhima, and Uttama is used in the verb. But the Vachana used in the verb should correspond to the number of the aggregate. Yeah. So, <clears throat> two things. One is that if we have multiple Ukta Karakas, like last time we studied that, if we have more than one Ukta Karakas simultaneously, uh, then the verb either goes like singular for both of them, uh, or it goes according to the Vachana. Like if there are two, then three Vachana. If there are three, then Bhavavach. So now if we have multiple Ukta Karakas, but in different purushas, someone is Pratama, someone like if I say Aham, Tvam, Arjuna, Cha, you know. So there Uttama Purush comes, Madhama comes, and Pratama comes. So in that case, if we have a verb, let's say myself, Arjuna, you, and myself are talking. Okay, talking. So the verb goes, the verb here is connected with all of all of the all the three, right? So in Sanskrit, now what the verb will be connected with? Which one? Which which Ukta Karaka? So in such a case. So this sutra says that when the Ukta Karakas are in different Purushas, the Purusha which is later uh, in the order of Prathama, Madhyama and Uttama, then that is used in the verb. If, yeah. But the Vajana used in the verb should correspond to the number of the aggregate of Ukta Karaka. For example, yeah. when the Purushas called Pratama, Madhama, and Uttama are expressed simultaneously, the Purusha, which is the later one out of two or more in the order of Pratama, Madhama, and Uttama, is the one which is used in the verb. So this is simple. Like, this is the order Pratama, Madhama, and Uttama. Pratama is like anyone else, third person, Madhama is second person, Uttama is first person, ourselves. So, in this order, we have to consider. But the vachana used in the verb should correspond. But let, let's say if, if Pratama and Madhima are only used. Let's say Arjuna Tvamcha. Then the Kriya will take Purusha uh, of Tvam, Madhima. Because Madhima comes later, right? If, let's say we have Madhima and Uttama, Tvamcha, Ahamcha. Then it will go with Aham because Uttama is later. If we have Pratama and Uttama, then Uttama. So, according to this sequence, the later one. But the Vachana used in the verb should correspond But the vachana used in the verb should correspond to the number of the aggregate. Now examples are here. For example, Krishnascha Tamcha Bhavataha. So Krishna is the third person, Pratma. 
and firm is madhyama so the verb goes with firm right second person and then the vachana goes according to the number of the aggregate so krishna and firm two two so tipta santi siddhas thas so madhyama purusha thas like that okay then tau cha aham cha bhavamah tau is prathama aham is uttama so it now the verb goes with uttama right because uttama is later and in dual case because tau and aham two no actually uh, actually tau is two yeah tau is two so then uh, that's uh, bahuvachana This rule applies even if the purushas are mentioned in reverse order in the sentence. For example, aham cha, tuam cha, sa cha. So even the order here is something, someone, somewhat else. Like aham, the uttama purusha comes first, then madhyama comes second, and the third one is pratima. But we'll follow this order, this sequence, in order to apply the verb. So bhavama goes with aham first. Okay. so it means that if if the third purush is used then irrespective of uh, wherever it is it will be third purush only if it is not then the second if not then the first is it like that third not not the third one uttama purush is first person in english uh, pratham purush madhyam purush uttam purush so means when the uh, third means the uttam purush means me uh we two and we all yeah so regardless yeah. of so, the position of the noun uh or the pronoun rather whatever yeah your pronoun so, yeah yeah so it goes with um, the uttama purusha okay okay but uh, above in the vritti uh, the meaning which i was getting then may be a little different i was thinking the other way yeah but so, now it is clear yeah But now it's clear, Prabhu. Okay, okay, Prabhu. Thank you. Carry on. So, when the karta is anukta by that pratyay, the following rule applies. So let's see what. Anukte kartari karane cha tritya. A tritya Vishnu bhakti is used when the karta or the karana is anukta. so when karta is anukta then tritya and when the karana is anukta uh, then also tritya after karana the word anukte should so, karana can i also anukta or can it be ukta also i mean karana is always anukta isn't it yeah yeah karana is always anukta yeah 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 okay the word anukte should also be added in the rules ordaining the vishnu bhakti for the other karakas so see it says here that anukta will be added with another karakas uh, the vibhakti the word anukte is added simply for clarity because the absence of the tritya vishnu bhakti and so on in the karakas already achieved by the maximum uh, that naam matarte devote ko nahi ban any how the yeah, this is the same point which we have discussed that only a karta or a karma could be ukta rest all other vishnu bhaktis are always anukta hmm. that's a very simple point an example of this sutra is vaishnavena bhuyate the act of being is being done by the vaishnava so vaishnavena bhuyate here the karta is anukta so and the kriya is ukta here so that's why ख्यातादय्रियंत्र uh, 
that depends on the pratyas of the akhyati pyadis uh, in order to show what is okta and what is not okta so here by this te pratyay akhyat itself the kriya itself is okta similarly we get vaishnava abhyam bhuyate existing is done by the two vaishnavas and so on hmm someone might wonder in dwa vaishnava bhavata two vaishnavas are why is the idea of the vishnu not expressed by the word dwi the answer is that the word dwi is used here only for the sake of emphasis the idea of the vachana is already expressed by the word vaishnava this and the section dealing with the swatantra karta so here the swatantra karta section is completed an example of the prayojaka karta is krishna bhavayati krishna causes to exist which means krishna bhavantam prerayati this is interesting the so, bhavayati is bhavantam prerayati khadayati is khadantam prerayati you know prerayati impels krishna impels the one doing the existing one should know that the same rule also rules also apply when vidhi and so on is used for example vaishnava bhavet right the vaishnava should be vaishnava bhavetam and so on ajita is used in the same way <clears throat> an example when ajita is used in the past is यदि कृष्णावतारो न अभविष्य तदा दैत्या मुक्ता न अभविष्य दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ अजित यू नो द लास्ट सेट ऑफ प्रत्यस अमंगस्ट द 10 ग्रुप्स सो इफ कृष्ण हैड नॉट डिसेंडेड यदि कृष्णावतारो न अभविष्य द असुरस वुड नॉट हैव बीन लिबरेटेड सो हम and an example when ajita is used in the future is yadi krishna bhaktir abhavishya tada aham kritartho bhavishyam if devotion to krishna could occur i would become successful so examples of ajit okay i'm just sharing one thing one link with you i have shared a link with you on the group so there's a lot of stuff actually yeah. i'll just show it right have you shared it in the whatsapp group yes yes okay thank you so this one actually was prepared by uh, a devotee from my one of the batches krishna so 
you know here if you see at the bottom uh, different pages are created like sandhi naam sutras are there and akhyat karaka and this is karaka notes and notes then this is just a minute then some rules you know some rules given in the vrittis then okay good good professor this is just like a classification you know how many percent of chapter in okay okay so okay total you know number of 1270 sutras in total yes so brihat so dhatu patha this is dhatu patha here you know uh, yes yes bro this is hari nama prati vakranam sutras versus panini sutras you know like equivalent sutras okay yeah this is actually very nice in case you know we want to see ha 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 then this but is but panini your... i guess prabhu has more than 3800 or 900 sutra is it right 4000 sutras i have heard yes yes and here here we have 3200 or roughly 200 sutras ha ha okay so this is their ashtadhyay sutras are there and then then this is um mm, the krishna namas right mm-hmm. and then their respective tables like idam so the idam table in Prush- uh, masculine feminine and neuter like that okay okay quite exhaustive <laughs> good then this is from examples i think one for example from shabda prakaranam one from nama prakaranam then namas index i think this is the index for um, the namas maybe which we have i don't know what i think this is where where the declensions are done Like maybe the... maybe yeah mm. krishnas something on krishna then i believe this is the satyanarayan baba ji videos because he also teaches this yes. so maybe his videos in the link i haven't seen okay This is the... he was from iskon only earlier i heard like yeah that. yeah he was in the teacher in gurukula bgis is it yeah yeah he was a teacher in bgis if oh. you if you see his tatva sandarbha he had published a tatva sandarbha while he was within you know the society so okay. there also he had written something like gurukul some mention is there so he was in gurukula okay okay maybe then long back because i think about 20 years back or more than that i think yeah he... yeah i have heard it so okay okay good so this is a list of abhyayas and let's see what else ha ha maheshwar sutrani ah uh, this is the pani ne thing i have never yeah this is one thing ucharna sthanani place of pronunciations <clears throat> hmm yeah so these were some you know pages so you can take avail of it okay prabhu thank you thanks a lot uh, ajit prabhu ji you remember 
Jaydwarka Prabhuji had made one, this Excel sheet for Dhatus. You know the, the forms. Do you remember that? Ah, yes, yes, Prabhu. He's made that. That was declension of, uh, I think, most of Akhyat. Uh, right, right. Maybe Bhavadi Gan he has done or maybe a couple of other guns he has done. You, but do you, still, not do, cool. you, do you still have that link? Uh, which group was that? Do you have still uh, I think should be in the previous group only where we had been conducting classes. Um, the link should have been there. That via Mahavidale, which was we were doing, right? Uh, yes, I think. Because in the second uh, batch, we have hardly done any class, maybe uh, one, uh, maybe a few of them, five, seven classes only. And there was no declension involved there in uh, the second batch, Karak batch. Right. So it must be in Bhagavad Mahavidyalaya, uh, this thing only. Or I can see that. I'll ask him. I'll message him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's good, good problem. That was also good. Yeah, it was good. It was good problem. We can directly click and the whole tables come up. Yes. Yeah. All the declination. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sutra 636. Uh, kriya yat sadhika tat karma. What is a karma? What the Kriya achieves is called the karma. Hmm. Hmm. So, Kriya yat sadhika. Tatkar. That karaka for the achievement of which the kriya proceeds is called the karma. Hmm. I was also hearing that karta ko jo ipsit hota hai wo karma hai. Something like that in hmm. Hindi I was hearing. That will also come. Yeah. Okay. Like also there that is there is that distinguish uh, distinction. Uh Ipsitam karma and Ipsitam karma. Okay. A desired fruit karma or an undesired uh, okay. karma. Like for example, an example also comes like uh, uh, like I'm eating grain, let's say. So the grain is the desired karma, right? Okay. Let's say uh, for anipsita karma, undesired karma, uh, I am going to, let's say, Delhi via train, by train. So oh, the activity is going and uh, the object is reaching the destination and that is Delhi. Now, while I'm traveling, I'm also like, noticing various you know lands you know from the windows yeah. so that is not the ipsi the karma there that, mm -hmm. is, that is coming on the way so examples okay. like that that will also okay. come okay okay Prabhu. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that karga for the achievement of okay Regarding the word sadhika, the kriya is treated as the karta here by people. That kriya. In regard to an earlier statement, this last third line, in regard to an earlier statement, sadhana is the achievement that takes place by the Kriya in any one of the five particular ways. So, okay, the Karma uh, is of four, five kinds. Achievement through Karmas being Utpadya, achievement through the Karmas being uh, Vikarya, so produced, transformed, <laughs> Sanskari enhanced, properly attained, Tyaja abandoned. We'll see examples for this.
This is your point. We'll actually spend time more time in the next class. and one chapter eight and text I believe what is 31 32 also 33 also we did yeah 34. Thirty-five. Bhavesmin Krishyamana Maybe this one. Yeah. Apyadya nastam svakrite hita prabho jihasasi svit suhridonu jeevinaha yesham na chanyad bhavata padam bujad parayanam rajasu yojitam hasam. So this sutra says, sorry, this shloka says, he Sokrite Hita Sanam Kritam Ihitam Apekshitam Yena Saha Sanam Kritam Ihitam Apekshitam Yena Saha Ihitam Yena Saha Prabhu, Tvam Adya Aduna Rajasu Yojitam Hasa Yojitam Pradattam Anghodukham Yayi Tesham Yesham Pandavana Mityartaha Bhavataha Padam Pujat Tavapada Padmat Anyat Prayanam Sharanam Nast Evam Bhutanam uh, is it what is this? Yeah, it is Evam Bhutan Suhrida Priyan Anujibinaja Ashtaneva Nahasman Jihasasi of this week. Take the Mitchell Sikim with the Prashna. Okay. So Kundi Maran is praying that, O oh, my Lord, O oh, Prabhu, who is Swakrita Ihita? Basically, the meaning is who performs uh, his own actions. Ihita is like hmm, karma. So one who performs his own karma, literally. Ita is coming from Datu Prabhu? Iha Datu. Okay, so Ihi what, Ichayam or something? No, see, you have executed all duties yourself. So basically the same thing what I was saying. He performs his own duties. So, Krita Ihita. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, Ihita is very much used, quite common. So Tom Adya Rajasu. So Okay, so the Pandavas, okay, now, okay, I'll take from For those, for the Pandavas, Yisham Pandavanam, who were, 
uh, Yojitam, who was equipped with, um, or afflicted with dukkha, distress, uh, while performing the Raj Suya Yagya, or Raj Suya could mean while performing the kingly duties, you know, in execution of those duties. Mm -hmm. For them, Yesham Pandavanam, Bhavata Padambujat, Tavapad Padmat, Anyat Parayanam, Na Asti. For them, there is no other shelter uh, apart from your lotus feet, right? Evam Bhutanam, Evam Bhuta Surida Priyan, Ashrana Jivnacha, and they are also Ashrid. They have also taken shelter uh, of your holy self or of your holy feet. They are your dear ones, Priyan, and then such we, such as Asman, Naha, how can you think of, you know, giving to us? How can you think of leaving us alone? Aduna, now. So, Tuam Adya Jihasasi appears with like this. Tuam Adya Jihasasi appears with. How can you think of leaving us alone? Like that. And then the whole thing. This Ratsu was not clear. Why Ratsu? Why 7.3 is used here? Um, this is in relation to what? In, in in relation to other kings? I believe Rajasu is here for... Unto the kings, it says. Acha, Rajasu here. Okay, this meeting is going to end. I will restart again. So you can join back. Okay, okay. okay.